What is up my friends, Jameson here and welcome to another video. So I'm going to update you on everything that's been going on because I haven't shot a video in about a week. I'm going to show you what I'm currently holding and uh, talk about the future, I'm going to talk about the channel, where did I go, all that good stuff. So let's dive right in. First and foremost, it's been over a week since I uploaded a video and I was uploading you know, one to two videos a day on average before that. The reason why I stepped away is because I wanted to reassess the direction that I wanted to go with this channel because the channel's starting to grow and obviously I want to add value to whoever watches these videos and I just started feeling like there was a lot of channels that were all starting to pop up talking about the same stuff. So I wanted to really come up with a direction that uh, would continue to keep me interested and keep me excited and then obviously keep the, the people that are starting to, to flood to, the, uh, to my channel interested as well. And the community pieces and everything else that we wanted to build. So over the last week, we've been kind of putting into play the things that will be launching in the next 30 days. A lot of exciting stuff. We've got a product getting launched. We've got a community that's getting launched. And all of this will be around uh, cryptocurrency, how to hold, how to stake, how to divvy up your positions. Because these are all the questions that I had. And this is all the stuff that like 60 days ago I had no clue about. And now I do. And it's through me researching, through me learning, and through me going out and doing. And so I want to make sure that this channel continues to be a channel for truth, a channel for um, things that aren't just like talking about theory and like, ah, oh, this should work, but is based off of fact, is based off of what we've experienced doing these things ourselves. And we started this channel just to document my my journey and I feel like it needs to take the next level of uh, evolution because there's so many channels now that are just like hey logging into my BitConnect here's what we got going on today and I wanted to provide more value than that to the people that are subscribing to this channel so that's what we kind of went to the drawing board uh, with and tried to reformulate and I think I think we're getting there and we definitely have some great ideas and some great things coming up so that's where things went over the last week uh, Let's talk about where I'm at now. So I'm still staked in BitConnect, USI Tech, and Control Finance. BitConnect, I am staked in the most. Uh, it's, the mo it's the one I feel most confident with. We saw them go away and make adjustments to the platform and then come back. And just a couple days ago, everybody who was in jail, in BitConnect jail, got released. So it, it seems like everything is all good. And I will say this, in comparison to a lot of other uh, I guess you could say brands or companies out there that are all doing these trading style bots and that's their main utility is just to trade. A BitConnect is, uh, is definitely, they're not necessarily the most transparent or the best at updating the community, but I will say that uh, they're, they keep coming back. You know, here we go on uh, coin market cap. Let's take a quick look and see where we're at. I think they were 13. Yeah, number 13 today, $892 million in the cap today. Overall, we're at $160 billion in all cryptocurrencies. Well, not all of them, 867 that are listed. And what's crazy is that this actually pegged out $175 billion last week when, uh, when Bitcoin, depending on where you're looking at, Bitcoin creeped over 5000 I don't actually think it did. Um, we could actually take a look here if we wanted to. We could look at the uh, the graph over the last seven days and the price of Bitcoin itself. A couple sites I was looking at actually showed that it did hit over uh, 5,000, but um, I don't think it actually did. Yeah, it doesn't tell me here. I think we could go into the uh, actual graph uh, and look. Yeah, let's see. Let's see the actual. Nah, not working. So we could go in and look. I think it was pretty damn close. It was 4,800 or 4,900. Uh, and then it's, it obviously is shrink back down. Uh, that was a little bubble that we saw. And this will continue to happen as Bitcoin continues to rise. I mean, there's some estimations that will hit 17,000 per coin by February. We're in you know, September as I shoot this. So, yeah, a lot of really good things on the horizon for Bitcoin in general. So BitConnect, yeah, I definitely feel very confident with that. I got a hundred bucks sitting in there because the lending has gotten interesting over the last couple of days. There's been a few days to where there's literally zero. There's a day here on the fifth, and I think back on the second, uh, it was also zero, pretty close, 0.14 or something. But then we've got some huge days in between there. Yesterday 
was a really big day at 1.92. Today we're cutting back a little bit at 0.76. If you look at the 30-day average, we're still at 0.95. Last seven-day average is looking like 1.16. Six months, we're still at 0.92. This was at 0.95 for a little while, but it's at 0.92 due to the effect, the large effect that the, the kind of reset on BitConnect had on its overall value. There's a lot of people selling off during that time. Fear always, like fear always wins, you know? It, uh, it'll always get people to do some really stupid shit. You can definitely guarantee that. So we got a hundred bucks in here. I'm just gonna pop that into a reinvest really quick while I got you on the line. We're gonna do a hundred bucks and uh, there's that. So I think I'm just about, let's take a look. Yeah, no, it's not 2,600, it's 27. Yeah, 2,700, I've earned $754. Pretty darn good because um, yeah, I'm not like, all the, all the money invested in this uh, is coming from the reinvestment and any affiliate commissions that we get from people who decide to sign up through my affiliate link here, which you can see on the screen. And so, yeah, that's all we've got going on with, uh, with BitConnect. I'm not staking any of the coin at all. I'm not even holding in the wallet here. So I will do that very soon because we've got a new approach that I'm going to be doing, which is a combination of trading, which I probably won't show most of the trading stuff, but I have been active in the trading side uh, for about the last week. And that's probably stuff I won't be showing because I'm just going to, I want to just keep that to myself. And so we're doing a certain percentage uh, into trading, a certain percentage into staking, which is just holding coin. Uh, excuse me, that's not just holding coin. It's uh, holding is just holding coin. Staking is when you actually stake up that coin for a certain term time or a certain term limit, and then you're getting uh, some sort of percent of interest back. And then this, we would call this lending, which is um, doing pretty similar, and you're getting a percentage back as well. So. Uh, staking and holding. I don't know why, but in a few of my videos, I said it was the same thing. I think I just didn't know better. It's not the same thing. And so I want to talk to you about a new one that I've been playing around with. I think I heard this originally from East Coast Crypto. I like his channel. You should check out East Coast Crypto for sure um, if you want to be up to date on a lot of the new stuff going on. He's got a Discord channel as well. Discord is like a new chat that's gotten popular. I know that a lot of people use Telegram. The WhatsApp groups, I think, got pretty worn out pretty quick. Uh, Telegram isn't is. I think that's more for like secured chat, like one-on-one -on -one private chat. And Discord is definitely for like wide open channel. I really love it. It's like a Slack, but not for business. Slack, I think of as like for business. Discord, I think, is really great for um, just group chat. So I'll probably open up my own Discord channel here once we launch the product in the community, which is all coming under the, the crypto junkies name. So be on the lookout for that coming soon. Uh, we'll have sign up pages and all that coming very soon. But anyways, I popped in, what, $127 into this. I've been sitting on it for, when did I start this actually? I don't know, does it give the date down here? Oh yeah, no, it doesn't, dang it. Yeah, here it is, okay. So I got in on this on the third. Wow, it was just like, yeah, just recent. So on the third, four days. So I've been in on this for four days. I haven't gotten any actual money back in my hand, but the total earned on investment so far is $14. And there's been no referral money so far because I'm not promoting this in any sort of affiliate capacity and I've not been paid out anything. I will very soon, which I believe will be on the 6th of October, which is next month. So we'll see if it pays out, but I will put an affiliate link in the description of this video in case you do want to join and uh, and put some money in this. Understand that, like, let's take a sidestep here. Um, I've seen some people that, and it, it really it really pisses me off. There's a couple guys, I'm not gonna name names, but that just started going out and pumping these bullshit programs that they did not research. They acted like they researched, and they vetted and checked it out, but they didn't. And then both of these comp said companies went away and then they tried to act, come out and act on video like, oh, hey, well, we meant to do this because it was just an experiment. And if you remember me telling you that we're just trying this out and so you shouldn't have put your whole life savings into this, one of the person had hundreds of people that signed up underneath them. And I just think that's really stupid. It's really stupid on their part because they're not recognizing that they are an authority. They're not recognizing that these little videos that they're putting on YouTube, people watch. And so there is 
a sense of, um, of ownership that you have to take to the words that you're saying, because if you're just signing up for this bullshit with, you know, five, 10 grand of your own money and you don't really care because you're, you're just, you're out there with your own uh, agenda and the other people are following you because they trust you. You can't act like that. Like you have to take ownership uh, and uh, accountability on the things that you're saying and the programs that you're telling people to get in on. So I will make it crystal clear from the very start, Bit Petite, I have really no idea about them. Uh, I heard about this through somebody else. To me, $130, $127 invested is nothing. So if this went away tomorrow, understand that I do not care. I want to make that disclaimer really clear. So unless you do not really care about this money or it's, it's kind of like you just want to test this out, don't get involved. So to me, I want to see if this pays out on this very small scale. To me, $127 is, is something that I'm okay with losing. And it's not that I'm okay with losing it, but it is, it is uh, interest money that we've made. So it doesn't feel as hard of a loss to me. So $127 to me, if we were to lose that tomorrow, um, I would be okay with writing that off. Let me just simplify that down. So unless you're okay with it going away tomorrow, then don't do it, okay? If you are, then there'll be a link underneath the video uh, and it's just here on the screen, you can see it too. It's bitpetite.com slash question mark F equals J Brandon zero, which is my affiliate link that I always use. And so, yeah, um, the thing I liked about this one though, so I, I hope it sticks around because it's cool. You can go Bitcoin to Bitcoin, meaning that you pay the investment. Obviously, it's all with, uh, well, with these two, it's Bitcoin, but they can even uh, accept Ethereum and Litecoin, but it'll pay you out in Bitcoin. I think it's smarter to get paid out in Bitcoin because long term, Bitcoin will be worth more than the US dollar. And long term, I will make more money off of that Bitcoin. That's my personal belief. Ethereum, the same thing. I think Ethereum and Litecoin are two really great coins to hold on to long term as well. What is going on with my nose? Oh, burning incense in the background and it's kind of, the jasmine is kind of getting me. So anyway, uh, Ethereum and Litecoin, I think are two pretty consistent coins. Like from a holding standpoint, I'm holding Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and we're going to, I'm going to pick out two more and I'm going to split it up, you know, 2020, 2020 or 2020, 10, five, five into five coins. And I'm going to just hold those coins. So no matter what, I'm going to just hold those coins. Then I'm going to be trading and then I'm going to be getting involved in trading bots that do this automatically for me. And it's kind of a little sit and forget. And then, you know, we're going to uh, get into, excuse me, we're going to get into the staking as well. So I got somebody knocking at my door, so I'm going to wrap up this video. But yeah, Bit Petite is a new one that I'm tra uh, trying out right now. And then um, we went over the coin market cap already. I showed you that. It's at $160 billion for today. So yeah, that's pretty much an update. USI Tech is still holding two packages. Uh, Control Finance, you see here, it's still just 300 bucks. Control Finance, I don't really feel that great about. Uh, so I, I'm keeping the amount that I have invested in that very, very low with my active deposits. USI Tech, I just think is confusing and I just don't really care about it. So that's why I'm, uh, I'm leaving it where I'm at with just two packages and everything that I'm reinvesting back into that is just coming from interest. So that's it for this video. Thanks guys for tuning in and obviously follow me with this journey. If you've got suggestions on topics you want me to get into, I have invested into a few ICOs recently as well. Uh, again, I don't really, I'm not going to really be talking about that on the channel, but if you want me to talk about more of this, then shoot me a message here on YouTube or place a comment below. And of course, if you're not subscribed and you're new to the community and what we're doing here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and uh, be on the lookout because we'll be shooting more videos very soon. All right. See ya.